In this video, we're going to share with you how to configure a multi-currency and multilingual WooCommerce store. So you may ask, why would you even do this? Well, any store that has customers who speak different languages and use different currencies can benefit from a multi-currency and a multilingual website. However, the technical complexity of the task often keeps business owners even away from starting this. Hello, you're here with the Woo Ninjas, your trustworthy team of WordPress, e-learning, and WooCommerce experts. And if you like the content we're putting out, please make sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any video suggestions or questions, throw them in the comments section and we'll get right back to you. So first, let's look at the benefits of actually setting up a multilingual site. You get increased sales by offering products in multiple languages. You're maybe just not targeting only English speaking areas or people. Also using different currencies allows you to target many different countries and many different people who just know their currency and maybe not the US dollar or the Euro. And as a result, it will increase your sales. Two is you improve the customer experience. Customers are much more likely to buy from sites that actually speak their language and that actually display prices in their local currency that they understand. And these can improve your overall shopping experience for your non-domestic potential clientele. Number three, better SEO. By optimizing your content for different languages and different countries, you can improve your search engine ranking and you can attract more traffic to your site as a result. You'll get more content, you'll be able to rank in different areas of the world. Meaning you could show up in a Google search in Japan, China, India, and not just maybe if you're targeting the US or UK or Australia. So why doesn't everyone go for a multilingual setup? Well, number one, higher costs. Creating a multilingual site can be much more expensive than creating a website in just one language. You need to hire translators, editors, and even other professionals. And these people help you create and manage all the content on your site in the various languages. Number two, increase complexity. Managing a multilingual site can obviously be more complex than managing a site in just one single language. You need specialized software and specialized tools to manage all these translations and ensure your content is displayed correctly. And number three, technical challenges. So setting up a multi-currency and multilingual WooCommerce store can be a bit of a technical challenge. You need to install and configure multiple plugins to make all this work. So this could be quite time consuming and actually require some technical expertise as a result. So let's jump into a quick tutorial to show you how to set up a multilingual, a multi-currency setup inside of WooCommerce. You're gonna need a translation plugin that integrates and connects with WooCommerce. For this example, we're going to use a plugin called WPML. However, there's other examples like Weglot and even Polylang. And for this example, we're going to use WPML. This is a WordPress plugin that's offered for WooCommerce multilingual support. And it allows you to translate product pages, categories, tags, and even other content. Using this solution, you can add currencies and languages you want to use on your site. And this is all you have to do. So we're gonna start this by going into your WordPress admin dashboard and going to plugins, then clicking add new and just searching WPML. Remember you get the polylang that I mentioned earlier. And we really do see that this is has 100,000 installations, 287 good reviews. So we're gonna go ahead and click install now. You know, as easy as that. Then we click activate and we're ready to go. All right, so the next step is you go to WooCommerce and then you go down to settings. Click on that and you scroll down to the bottom and you're ready to get to currencies. And this is what that plugin we just added uh, gave you the ability to do. It allows you to click on configure multiple currency for multiple sites. So we click there and first we need to enable multi-currency. So we're going to click that. So we click that, then we click a uh, client location and then we're gonna need the license key. So right here, there is the option to get the license key. It is about $99, it does a little bit better with geolocating, but for this example, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna just add the different currencies right here. So we can use uh, Euro, so that looks good. We're gonna save that and just add a couple more. Maybe we add another currency down here, such as Singapore dollar. Perfect. So we just go ahead and add all the currencies that you want to your site right here. And to configure the multilingual, we go down to plugins, the ones that are active, scroll down to your WooCommerce multilingual and multi-currency, and we wanna click on multilingual settings. 
Remember, if you did want to get into multi-currency settings, this is another place to do it as well. So it says to run your store on multi-currency language, you're going to need the WPL language. Okay, we have that. If you already have it installed, then you need to activate it. So we're going to click here, and this is where it's going to trigger us to actually buy it. Usually the best one you probably would need is the multilingual CMS. So that is a $99 purchase with a 30-day money back guarantee to get that going on your site. And once you've done that, you'll easily be able to translate your product pages, your categories, your tags, and other content you wanna use on your site. And you do all of that using this right here, this WPML plugin, it does all the heavy lifting for you. And one of the best things about the plugin is it actually offers language switching, language specific menus, and SEO optimization for each and every language you choose. But keep in mind, you have to review your translations just to make sure there might be any edits. So that's when you might need some translators or editors involved in this process. So multilingual store is an essential step in reaching an actual wider audience. However, the, the process of setting up one can be very daunting for most. If you're getting stuck in the process or want to avoid any bugs or hiccups, working with a professional team of WooCommerce developers is probably your best bet. And you can check out our WooCommerce services at the link below. This is us for Woo Ninjas. We can help you with WooCommerce, whether that's a quick launch service, helping you install plugins, or you just have an idea or a store you want transferred or an idea you want implemented. We do it all. Just go to the bottom, fill out the form, and we'll be happy to get right back to you with any questions you have. See everyone on the next video.